Hi, we're the marketing team for the Colonial Drive Steak and Shake, and we're just here to let you know that we've created a video for you. My name is Esteban. My name is Shazad. My name is Sarah. My name is Joe. And we hope you enjoy our recommendations and take into consideration. Okay, what people do not know about Steak and Shake is that it is international and present in Dubai, Kuwait, Italy, and Spain. It started off by a single man wanting to sell fresh burgers with shakes. What gave them their name was their steak burgers. They have maintained their quality, speed, and cheap price to remain an international brand. The marketing effort of Steak and Shake is very diverse, with them offering specials throughout the year that are both seasonal and year-round. The advertising can be seen on billboards, TV ads, social media such as Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and heard on the radio. <clears throat> In the years following the recession, their marketing suffered a setback and gave them a loss of customers. This led to Steak and Shake changing its advertising agency from Kirschman Kirschman Bond Senecorn Partners, who, from taking over, was able to handle everything from advertising and branding to mobile marketing and having a presence in the media, as well as data analytic, analytics from the company's marketing and advertising areas. They now run ads on everything from online banners for YouTube and Facebook to the TV and radio and newspapers. They are also developing an app that has many features which lets you know where locations are, specials that are being run, gives you points so you can get rewards or discounts on future purchases and meals. Steak and Shake uses three types of social media. The three types that they use are Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All three of them post about the same feed, so on each one you can see the same things. Um, the first thing they do is raise awareness. They post pictures of their new products or promoting happy hours, and when people are on their um, Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter feeds, they can see these posts and they can also share them to their friends on that social media site. The, they influence desire by posting pictures of new food items. Um, people will be scrolling and they can see the new burger that Steak and Shake came out with and they'll want to get up and go get it with friends or just by themselves. Um, Steak and Shake um, encourages trial by promoting new items on your accounts. Um, it gives the customer something new that they may want to try and it encourages them to go out and buy it. Um, they facilitate purchase by posting things that may not sell well. So if a burger, a new burger, isn't making as much money as they want it to, they can promote it more and people will go out and buy it or they can do sales about it. Um, Steak and Shake creates loyalty with their customers by replying back to them in a timely manner on all three social medias. An example we have here is on Facebook. A customer um, said that Texas needs a Steak and Shake and they replied back on the same day saying that they can see what they can do about getting one to her town. So this customer now will probably go to Steak and Shake more often when they do build it because they have that loyalty with her about replying back to her in a timely manner. So we're gonna be talking about the SWOT analysis that we have created for the Steak and Shake on their social media accounts. The one thing that we found that they are really good at is that they do reply to their social media accounts very well and very timely. Um, it does show a lot of family-friendly portraits. As you can see, there's a dog, there's usually children, there's family sitting together. Um, the uh, menu options are a lot cheaper than other places with the $4 menu and the under that they have. And then the other things that we have is that for the weaknesses that they do lack a bit variety between their accounts. The other thing is that it is a little unappetizing to see some of the pictures that they have portrayed as you can see right here, these sandwiches, they don't really look too appetizing as well as this burger on the left. They, it really looks like it's a burger that was falling apart and they just put it together and then put it on the bun and then they took a picture of it, um, which is not something I would really want to see when I go out to eat. Um, another thing is that they have inappropriate videos that they show online. Um, going on to the actual Colonial Steak and Shake account, we find a worker that is complaining about customers and their want to meet. So she's saying that it is impossible for her to create the hash browns perfectly the way a guest wants. She also referred them to go to Waffle House because Waffle House would have better food than they do, um, which is just not appropriate for what we're trying to sell here for our Steak and Shake as a whole. Um, in going through the opportunities, we would say that they definitely have to show themselves differently online and presenting themselves. They have potential to show themselves to a late night 
demographic of people who like to get drunk at night and then since they're open late at night those people who are drunk want to get some food and usually steak and shake is the hot spot for them to go especially where this uh, steak and shake is positioned is right in the middle of several clubs um and then for the threats that they have of course waffle house five guys ihop and mcdonald's um all of those threats to them since they are burger establishments that do run very late at night as well um and then the other thing that we have for recommendation is in advertising steak and shake, they need to reach out to the other night demographic. These people who are getting drunk and do want to go over uh, for that meal at night definitely need to find a way to reach out to them so that you get more people to come in at that time. The steak and shake needs to go through their account so that they can take these filtered um, videos and filter them out and so we're not showing that to people. And then also finally, just someone needs to monitor that so that this never happens again.